Welcome back to Tay Tom. I always love when we have a guest who can give us tips that we can use all year round, pretty much for a lifetime. With us right now, Erin Nadler. She is stylist and owner of Better Styled, and we're talking about packing a suitcase. Yes. Can I just tell you, that can be really tough, and especially for my husband, because <laughs> honest to goodness, <laughs> it doesn't matter if we go away for two days or two months, he packs the same amount of stuff, and that the answer to that is too much That's stuff. That's so funny. I always hear that men pack more than women, but I thought it was a female issue. No, I think it's all <laughs> of us, but you know, clearly, anyways, it'll help all of us, so let's talk about for that. For sure. So, um, standing in front of you, I'm just going to... Yeah, come on over. Um, come on over. It, so, I've done a carry-on suitcase because, let's face it, the cost of checking has become very expensive. Yes. So, more and more people want to do carry-on. This is a really cool suitcase. Um, I'll flip it up afterwards. Um, it's for Canna's 150th birthday, so it's got a cool oh, uh, design to fun. it from Samsonite. Uh, but basically, just to show how to pack effectively, the one thing I like to do and that I've sort of started here is I like to start with the pants on the bottom. Okay, pants go in the bottom. Yeah, so you want to do the pants, a skirt, a dress, or whatever on the bottom. Okay. I like to have them coming out the ends. So you're going to put the waistband at the top. Got it. And you're going to alternate from one side to the next. What that essentially does is it gives you a flat surface to work at with. At the bottom. Yeah, it also decreases the amount of wrinkles that you have. Smart. Um, after your tops and skirts and dresses or whatever, and you want to do always the biggest things on the oh, bottom. Oh, so you're not going to fold this over. I am going to fold it over. You're absolutely but right. But at the end. At the end. Oh. So what you've d so you really have decreased the amount of wrinkles. So you're going to do all that, then you're going to do your top. So if it's a blouse like this that really can wrinkle, yeah. you want to do exactly the same thing. So pick a side, leave it at the bottom, and flop it and over flop a little it up. bit. So I then you build up inside, that. and what you can do inside are the things that aren't necessarily going to wrinkle. So like your cotton tees, that's right. And you can roll these, you can lay these inside like this, and just okay, layer so them up. Okay, so then and if I had my underwear, it would be kind of here. Exactly. And if I had a PJ, like so, those are things that I can fold. Right. They go on top. Right. You could also put your underwear in the mesh side. So the greatest thing about a lot of these, I always use the mesh side for like the dirty stuff that I've worn. You could do that okay. also. Um, the greatest thing about all these now is that you have two sides. So you actually have quite a bit of space. So you could do the pants all on one side and you could do the tops all on the other. Like it depends how oh, you like to get dressed in the morning. That. No, you also. know what I think I need? I think I need a new suitcase. This is a great one. Oh. So and then when you're done you flip it all up and you would then click it into place and that's it. You're done. Um, Beautiful. The other option if you don't necessarily want to be rolling is Samsonite does these great little packing cubes. Okay. And this happens to be a large one. It expands. It's double sided and you can actually stack your t-shirts in there if you're uh, a female who wants to put all their undergarments together you could do that too if you're a man who travels you could put your tie your clips everything you need for your suit okay in so there. now once that what it just goes you inside? zip it up and then instead of layering them like this you would just put this inside here back on top now where do your liquids go because like so you could put your so you have you have your a little, little you're, traveling. yeah you're only allowed a, a bare minimum right so you could do that you could use this for your carry-on mm. um for those liquids as well, you could put them into a Ziploc bag. Okay. It's kind of up to you. Or you could use the mesh piece. Got but it. But you were saying about laundry is is true. You could turn this into your laundry bag oh, also. Yeah. So you've got lots of it's options practical. with it. It's a great piece. really idea. Um, and if you are someone who's going away for like a weekend, this is a really, really great item it just could, to throw in. It could almost work just as a suitcase itself, right? Just for one weekend. Exactly. Husband, see, just this. This yeah. alone would be fine for a weekend. Okay. <laughs> so you could do that if you don't want to invest in the cube. You could just use a Ziploc bag and yes. do all the same things. Uh, so that's really up to you, but I, I love these items. Easy pieces and great way to pack. Genius, I love yeah. it. Okay, let's let's close this so we can see how beautiful. Oh, okay. It is. So the front of this um, oh my has gosh, a really cool design. design. Can, so, am I allowed to ask where you got it? This is Canadian Tourister, so it's they're owned by uh, Samsonite, uh, and they did a whole limited edition for the 150 um, anniversary. Uh, I need to pick myself. Very cool. And also, if you are going to check this, yeah. you're going to see it coming. Which is a great off the belt. Oh yes, of course. Which is a great thing because more often we pick like something that's black, and then everybody looks like black. Okay, right? can the camera so, get that? Look at that. Ottawa is really, really big letters yep. right up here. I kind of like that. <laughs> so, so this is a great, and I like the hard-sided pieces yeah. too. If you're looking for something, um, I find they're they're better to pack it, and wheels. there's more room. And awesome. yeah, and try to get four wheels if you can. Genius. Yeah, love it. Let's leave it closed. It's pretty. Let's talk about this. So, um, just to sort of talk about this. So we, we talked about the packing, but yes. what? pieces can you take and how can you simplify so that? So I would like to have two dresses and 15 pairs of shoes. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I'm exaggerating. After, but a woman you know. after my own heart with the yes. shoes. So my biggest issue is always what shoes do you yes. bring? Um, so I'm thinking, you know, summer travel. If you are going to Europe, 
don't bring the stilettos. Bring a stacked heel. Yes. Bring something like this that's a wedge. Um, it'll make your life a lot easier. You're not going to get stuck. You're just going to walk and Smart. have it be easy. This is a great uh, shoe from Nine West for um, for the evening. It's a great neutral color. Yep. It would go with everything. You could wear with a skirt, a dress, uh, a little pair of um, shorts Capri's. if you want to dress yep, in shorts. Perfect. Exactly. So you could do that. So I would do something like that for the evening. There's this that's a great flat too also from Nine West in a neutral. I think the tip is pick neutrals yes. that will go with everything. everything. Yeah. This is also the kind of shoe that you could wear during the day also mm -hmm. if you're touring around. And then you have to have some sort of running shoe. Yeah. Running shoes now have gotten so cool. I know. So I love this option in the sort of metallic. And metallic really does work with everything. So yeah. whether it's gold or silver, it's a great piece. And my tip is if you're doing a, a, a traveling a trip where you're doing a whole lot of walking, don't break into your shoes on, your, on the day one of your trip. No. Make sure they're shoes that you've already walked in. Yep because you don't want blisters on day one. Exactly. There you go. That's my tip. I, I totally agree with you. <laughs> the other thing too is if you can only bring one bag, what yes. should it be? So I like the cross body Me bag too. for during the day. Yeah. It's great. Um, a lot of them will clip off so that you can actually carry it just like a regular handbag mm. um, for the evening. So it makes it a little dressier. Uh, and I like a neutral like white, black. Um, there's these great blues sort of in these tones as well that you could introduce that would go with everything. Perfect. Um, and look for pebbled leather because that won't scratch. And if you get anything on it, it'll just wipe right off. All right, before we run out of time, let's talk about the essentials. Okay, what so are the essentials? I picked up a whole bunch of great pieces from Reitman's. Um, you have to have some sort of t-shirts. They're easy to layer. Um, you could wear them during the day or at night. Mm -hmm. um, I love printed blouses for the same reason. So there's a little striped blouse underneath here. Nice. Polka dots, again, can be multi-purpose day or night of and go course. with any bottom. Um, and then you want some sort of jacket or cardigan. So I picked a jean jacket just because you can easily but layer it. It, look great. it looks great with the shorts. Yeah. It looks really pretty with the pretty dress. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And, and you could do multiple things with it. It's always cold on the airplane. Yes. So don't pack this, wear this on the plane. Smart. Yep. Um, if you don't want to do a jacket, you can introduce just a little cardigan, a pop of color. Just make sure it goes with everything. The greatest tip I can give you is plan it out ahead of time. What goes with what? Make sure everything mixes and matches. Lay it out on your bed. Yep. Absolutely. And then you can pack it away. And then you can. How much close do you think we need for let's say a week we're going for a week one week vacation I would say you need probably uh, at least one pair of shorts um, a great little crop capri yep. some sort of dress um, and bring more tops and bottoms agreed yep agreed Always because be sometimes you're not going to be able to or do you laundry hot and you want to yes. swap um, so and that's why I really like a lot of the lighter flowier tops yep. because they give you that coolness exactly yep okay we've learned so much Good. today I'm out of breath I'm going to videotape this, bring it home, and show my husband we don't need to pack five tons for a weekend nope. right away. <laughs> All Easy. right. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us, Erin. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching Daytime on Rogers TV.